Today we are moving away from equations and we are going to something called an inequality. So what is an inequality? Well, inequalities are greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, and our final inequality could be does not equal. So we are not going to use the equal sign anymore, and we're still going to have things that look like equations. We're just replacing that equal sign with the inequality signs. Now, what is the big difference between an inequality and an equation? Well, we know in an equation, the variable always has a single solution. That changes with inequalities. In an inequality, the variable can have an infinite number of solutions. So, if we are taking word phrases and we're going to change them into inequalities, our biggest concern is which inequality sign do we use? So, let's take this phrase, a number n is greater than 22. Well, that's our simplest inequality because they told us our variable was n. They told us it's greater than. Now remember, the open side always shows the greater than, and we're reading from left to right. So when I see this open is on the left, that means it's got to be the greater. Lots of times kids get confused between which direction we need to go. So that's the simplest one that we can put together. But sometimes they're going to change their wording. So sometimes we might get something that says, Sally, Sally's age, which is A, is at most 15. Well, that's a little more complicated. Now, at most means it can be 15, but it also can be less than 15. So whenever you see at most, what we're looking at is less than or equal to. So I'm going to take A as my variable. I'm going to insert my less than or equal to sign, and they told me it was 15. I just added in. Very simple inequality. So now we might get something that says Steve's height, H, is at least 48 inches. Now at least makes it a little complicated as well. Now if we think about it, it can equal 48 but it also can be greater than 48. It just can't be below 48. So whenever you see the words at least, that always tells us it's going to be greater than or equal to. So I would write H is greater than or equal to 48. Now, the last one is an example of not equal to. It says Vera's baby brother's age, B, is not 24 months. So I'm going to take B, I'm going to use the does not equal sign, and I'll just put my 24. So those are very basic inequalities. That's about it for us today. Now it's your turn. Go have some fun.